Doggy coin, Doc BTC, Doggy. So for Dogecoin against BTC, ooh, are we gonna break the resistance? Feels like we could be breaking the resistance, yes, no. But even if you do break the resistance, there is another resistance in the form of the skinny pink line. So we could hit the skinny pink line, bounce off of it, maybe consolidate a little bit more before breaking it. But at the same time, if this is a bounce, there is a high momentum uh, retrace, then potentially there could be more downside for Dosh against BTC. This whole thing could be an A, the whole thing, we go out for a B, we come out for a C, right? We morph into an even bigger falling channel. Mm -hmm, that's possible as well. That would be the bearish possibility. The bullish possibility is we break back up above the skinny pink line convincingly. And after that, uh, you know, we consolidate over here right up above the skinny pink line and we continue higher for doggy coin. That would be the best case scenario. But yeah, again, we'll have to take things one step at a time. Uh, right now, I don't think that this is what I would consider as a tradable chart pattern. Uh, it might become tradable eventually, but not at this point of time. We've already crossed the skinny pink line. Uh, usually when you cross the skinny pink line, you know, you will spend some time under it, right? If you look at history, you know, you'll spend some time under it, All right? Many, 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 many months. So yeah, it feels to me like we could hit the skinny pink line as it comes down and then we start uh, forming bearish chart patterns and we continue lower for uh, Dosh against BTC, right? Absolutely possible. So at this point of time, be very, very, very careful about uh, going to a trade too soon for Dogecoin. Even the chart pattern over here doesn't feel like a bullish reversal. Doesn't feel like that to me. Sure, we may break it. Sure, there could be a rally, but yeah, be careful. Be very, very careful. Um, all possibilities still remain, right? Going long, going short, you know. Uh, yeah, be, be very careful. Uh, there's just no confirmation yet. Dodge against USDT. So for Doggy Coin. Yeah, it's not really that good. Again, we could be heading towards the skinny pink line. We could hit the skinny pink line. Uh, and then we could see a very big bounce back down. F uh, complete uh, head and shoulders, pump, head lower, right? We were anticipating the possibility of um, Dogecoin heading towards the noisy area over here, right? There was a very nice consolidation, boom, where we broke out from. So I think, I think that we could be heading back down here, right? Um, all the moves that are happening for Dogecoin is potentially, uh, potentially towards the downside, right? There is potential for more downside. We are in a rally, but I'm not really that confident uh, with this rally. I don't see the bullish reversal yet for Dogecoin against USDT. So yeah, be very, very careful uh, about going to a trade too soon for Dogecoin against USDT. I'm just not convinced with this rally. I'm just not convinced yet. Sure, we may rally higher. We may take out the stop buys here and stop buys here and stop buys here, you know. Um, everything here as well before reversing back down. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of suspicious with the rally at this point of time, right? I mean, of course, if things start turning really, really bullish, then of course I will switch my bias to bullish. But yeah, we've already sliced through the skinny pink line. And yeah, things just aren't really looking that good for Dogecoin. Not yet, eventually, hopefully, but not yet. So yeah, nothing much that you and I can do except to be patient and to wait for the wheels to do their thing.